Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do a little variation of Rachel's challenge this past week. I'm not going to do exactly what she did, but I'm just going to do a little variation of it. I'm going to go a little rogue, but I'm going to use some of these vintage pieces that I printed off. I uh, don't remember where I got this from. This could have been one of Betty's, I'm not sure. But you can use anything. You can use pattern paper, digitals, whatever you might have. I just had some of these laying on my desk. So I thought I would use them. And I'm going to tear mine somewhat in half. I don't know if I tore it straight, but we're going to go with that anyway. And then I don't have anything printed on the inside. And that's what I want because I want to have journaling space on the inside. So what I'm going to do... Just fold this up to about right there. I'm just guessing. No exact measurements. Just fold it up like you want it. And since I didn't tear it straight, we're going to trim that off. And then this piece will fold over like that. It's kind of like we're making a little envelope, but we're not. So just hang on. <laughs> I'll show you what we are making. Okay. Now, I am going to use my little tag punch, wherever it might be. Here it is. And I'm going to punch these corners. Somebody told me on the video that I did the other day, said, you said in the title that no punch is necessary. And the first thing you did was use your punch. <laughs> I said, you know, I didn't even realize that. But it wasn't necessary. It's just that I wanted to. <laughs> So there, what, there is no punches necessary. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I said, yeah, I didn't even think about it. I did use that, but I just wanted that look. But you could just use your scissors and round that off. It's where we made those little uh, tabs, page tabs. Now I'm just putting some ink on mine. And on the folds, just to give it a little vintage look. If you don't want this inside white, you can do something else with it. Or print on the inside. Lots of different things that you could do. But I am just going to leave it like that. Now, I'm going to put a little pocket on the inside of mine. Not exactly like Rachel did, but just a little pocket that will hold some things. And then we can use this as writing space with a little tiny pocket. So I'm just going to, I've got this little tiny notebook here, and I'm just going to find a piece. I think that one right there will work. A piece of paper that will work. So I've got Miss Lila Rose, and I've got Presley in Brooklyn, because the kids are all gone to uh, do their new recording. So, in Nashville somewhere. So anyway, <laughs> I think Lila's mad at me. She won't eat. I think she's, she's homesick. She won't eat. She drinks very little. Um, she just wants me to hold her, and that's kind of hard for me because I'm having to work. And she is, instead of using her little pad, now she's going all over the house and doing it. So I think it's like, I need your attention, or I need somebody's attention. <laughs> so we've been taking turns holding her this morning and just playing with her and doing some things to keep her from feeling so sad. But I think she's, I think she's homesick already. She doesn't really like to be away from home. That's not, she likes being at home. But I, didn't, I just didn't want them to leave her at home for two days. Two nights, really. Even though they can monitor and watch her and all that kind of stuff with their cameras. But, I don't know. I just didn't want to leave her over there. So, I said, bring her over here. We'll do fine. And she really did okay last night. She didn't have accidents or anything. She didn't get... Uh, usually, she gets real distressed at night. She didn't last night. But then today, it's been like... She's just... I don't know. I've never had an inside dog, so I don't know anything about inside dogs. But she's just not acted right today. 
So I think she's homesick, which they're coming back tomorrow, so not going to be too bad on her. But I told Melina, I said, if y'all have to go and stay on a week or something, you might as well figure out a way to take her with you because she's, she's not going to be happy here. <laughs> I can't get her to eat or anything. The only thing I've got her to eat this morning is a little bit of peanut butter. That's it. She just won't have anything. She won't have her dog food. Nothing. So, all right. Now, you can see I just folded that over so that that, that papers are very thin so that we have a pocket here. And then you've got journaling space here. You could even journal up here if you wanted to. Or, if, like I said, if you don't want this white on the inside, you can put something else on it. Just do whatever makes you happy. And I'm going to put probably a little flower or something right there. I think first, you know, my go-to, I think I'm going to come in with a little doily. I do have some of these doilies uh, in the shop. Well, I have some of them inside the house. <laughs> I just don't have them in the store yet. I've been busy trying to do everything else because everybody's gone but me. Me and the kids. So Presley's been helping me today, but she had to stop because they're having to do their schoolwork here. So she had to stop out and do schoolwork. So been a little bit crazy. So I haven't got everything loaded up yet, but I'll try to get some of these doilies loaded soon. I'm just going to use this scrap. It doesn't really matter what color it is at this point. And since this is bare on this side, I just want to put it right there. Okay. And let's see. Let's grab a flower of some kind. Maybe. What about a blue one? I don't know if a blue one would look right. Let's just do a pink one. And I've got some that are very, very big. They're going to have to go on a journal page. But then under, underneath, I have some that are a little bit smaller. Just finding the right one. Oh, I kind of like that one. Now, I'm going to bring it down some because I don't want it. I want it to be seen even when you fold that up. So I'm going to bring this one down some, I think. Just make sure that there's not another one in here that I'd rather have. Nope, I think that's going to be it right there. Now, we don't have any more of these in stock. I have more ordered. But... Um, I don't have any in stock right now. They sell out very, very fast. And I think last time I got like 70 each. And they they sold out in a, no time. Now this is just different embellishing. You can do any type of embellishing you want. I like that. It shows when you close it. Now I'm going to put a little bit of something up here. I don't necessarily want to cover that or that. So I'll probably just put a little bit of something right here. So let's just dig through my scraps and see what I got. We could possibly do a little piece of this. Yeah, that would work. I think. Yeah. You could put a little stamp there. That would be cute too. Now, I sent the newsletter out to everybody today about the uh, freebie for tomorrow and then different things. There were some different things in there. But, um, so you guys make sure you check your emails. If you don't see it in your regular email inbox, check your junk folder. It's there. If you signed up, it's there. Okay, we'll put that there. I like that so far. So good. Now, let's see. What else do I want? I might just want a little Tim Holtz something. All right, I'm not really finding anything in there that I want, so I don't think I'm going to put anything on there right now. Later, I, I might come back. I'll start adding it to my journal and put something else in there. 
but we'll add a little tag here or a couple of little tags and then like I said this can be your journaling space and then that's just going to fold over now you can tie this around if you want I am just going to use the little Tim Holtz paper clips that we sell to me that closes it up perfect and then you can take that off and on if you want to Oh, let's see let's grab another piece see if we can do this one okay so yeah you guys that have inside dogs I've always had outside dogs my dad would never allow us to have an inside dog so I have only had outside dogs, so I really don't know too much about a little inside dog, especially a little little beauty one. But um, you know, our dogs, I mean, they just ate. They either ate or they went hungry. That's just the way it was. <laughs> Daddy didn't give them any special treatment. He put their food out and you either eat it or you just went hungry. That's about the way his kids was. Your food was on the table if you ate it or you went hungry. kids would they would just die if they had to do that these days if you just set something out and they had to eat it no matter what because you know they're so used to being catered to and mine included and my grandkids included which Melina doesn't do it much but Alicia does it a lot a lot more than she needs to but don't tell her I said that it's really none of my business but her kids are really, they're good. They eat a lot better now than they used to. They used to just eat junk a lot. And now they, they actually eat salads and fruit and vegetables and things. So, And Presley has learned how to cook. So she cooks just about as much, if not more, than Alicia does. Okay, so there's another one. Basically made other than our paper on the inside. And again, I'm just going to go to this little book and grab one that will... I think might look okay. Let's see, let's do this one. Now I'm going to use this page and I think I'm going to use this side. I like that stamp and that little butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it together. And the only reason I'm gluing this together is this is a very, very thin paper. It wouldn't do very well for a pocket as thin as it is. So that's why I'm gluing them together. But if you've got a paper that's thicker, then you don't have to worry about that. All right, go ahead and ink it up. And I know somebody's going to say, oh, you're wasting the back of that paper. But I've, this little booklet's got like 10 sheets each of these in it, so I don't mind. Take me a while to use them up. There's our little pocket. Now we could just put a little something down here at the bottom if we wanted to. This is just a little piece of that deli paper that we did the other day. I stamped. We played around with. Let's just put a little piece of that down there. Just for a little added extra. Make sure you got the glue under it before you pull that across it. There we go. The rest of it will be journaling space. And then I think we'll put something here because we've got that open space there. And I think I'm going to go with the label first. And then we might come back and do a flower or something over it. So I'm just going to grab, let's see, one of Tracy's labels, I think. And I might even go with this blue one. And this is Tracy Fox on Etsy that has these. And this is, I think this one's called Random Labels, I believe. She's got so many, I don't... 
I don't remember exactly. I bought this a few years ago. But it's got like the definition of botany and vegetation and botanical and all of that on it. Okay, let's put that right there. And let me go ahead and I think I might try to pull in a blue flower. Oh, I'm going to cover that up, which doesn't really matter, but let's see if we got a different one. What about this little bouquet? Well, that would be cute. Let's do that. So we're going to put that down right there. And these are things that you can either glue in or clip into your journals. Either one. Oh, I like that. That's cute. All right. Now, I think I want to put something up here and across. Let me look. I've just got quite a few little scraps up here at the top. Oh, I like that writing on that. Let's just put a piece of this across there. It looks like it's going to storm here. Are you guys getting storms? We had rain most of the night last night, but I think we're supposed to get some storms this afternoon. I hope we don't because Brooklyn is terrified of storms and Lila does not like storms. So I would have my hands full if we do. Oh yeah, I like that there. So maybe, maybe we won't. We did get more of these in and more of these tack punches in. If you guys are still looking for them, I know a lot of people had messaged me about them. We just have to, um, you know, we get them in when we can. That's the only thing we can do. They actually shipped them a lot quicker than I thought they would this time. Because they said they were out of stock. See, that's the thing about most of these companies. They make something, people get really interested in it and want it. And we start selling it like crazy. And then we, you know, we usually order 25, 30 at a time. And then we sell out and all of a sudden we go back and they're out of stock. Or either they're, they discontinue something or that's what's so aggravating. Why discontinue something that's selling so good? Trying to decide if I want another label there. I think I do. I think I'll go ahead and put it there. You can put more than one label on, but I'm going to put it kind of at an angle up like that. That way it will look a little different than this one down here. So there's another one. Open it up. You got your little pocket there. And then we'll just clip it with a little paper clip. We got more of these little clips in, these little paper clips from Tim Holtz, too. So, we'll do one more. I've got this other sheet of paper here, and then I'll let you guys go. I have to go prepare for the storm. No, I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. I don't think they're predicting it to get really bad. We've just had so much rain and things and I know we're not the only one I know lots of places right now are flooding and I, I really hate that all right let's see I think on this one I'll just round the corners and see what that looks like since I've got that stamp there I really don't want to cut that off yeah I like the corners rounded too and I'm going to ink all this all right now, if you don't have old document pages and you'd like to have some to do this with, 
I have some digitals that are document pages. Um, or like I said, you can use whatever you have in your stash. It doesn't have to be document pages or anything like that. It doesn't have to be anything particular. Now, let's see. I'd like to get that on there. I like that stamp. Oh, but I like that side too. Hmm. It's a dilemma. Let's see. I like that side. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I like this stamp. I made some um, things last night that I put some of these stamps on. The postage cancellations. Well, it's in your newsletter. Let's see. That'll be good enough. It's not torn exactly right, but it'll work. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold this as usual. And then I'm going to put this little stamp right up here. Make it look like it was always there. I, I think the kids are in there fighting. Oh. Uh, they like to do that too, you know, they're sisters. They like to argue and fight. Presley's trying to get Brooklyn to do her schoolwork and Brooklyn is she procrastinates. She's like her mother and her daddy. Her daddy procrastinates some, not as bad as her mom. But um she likes to procrastinate till the last minute. She told me earlier, she said, I don't have to do my schoolwork until three o'clock. I said uh, that's what time school gets out. You're supposed to have your schoolwork done before then. Well, Mama lets me do it like that sometimes. And I said, Brooklyn, you're not at your Mama's house. You're at Nene's house. And you will do your work like Nene tells you to do. <laughs> She's like, yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I like that. Oh, let's see. I need to trim it off just a little bit. I forgot about that. I always have to trim these off. They're a little bit too long. So we'll trim this in. And I'll just ink it again. Then we'll put it down. And I might, that makes my little pull out of center, but not to worry. No problem with me. I forgot all about having to... Oops! I'm going to trim it off. There we go. That's okay. It's not that bad. I, I have done them worse. I like that. Now, I might put another little something down here. I kind of liked that before. So let's see what we've got here that we can just maybe tear and put right there. a little scrap. I think we'll go with that. It doesn't have to mean anything. Somebody asked me the other day, said, I just don't get what that means. Well, it doesn't have to mean anything. <laughs> it's just what you like. How you want it to look. I am not that particular when it comes to putting things down. It doesn't have to have a particular meaning to me. It's just maybe something that I like the looks of. I think. Let's see. We find the right one. Sorry if I got my head in the shot. Maybe not. I think I might just put that across there. There we go. Still got plenty of journaling space. You can always decorate this up if you want to. I might do that before I put it in my journal, but I don't think I'm going to right now. I'm going to go back to the front and see what we want to do here. I like all this. I like the flowers and I like that. I want to put some little something right here and maybe something up here. Oh, I kind of like that stamp there. A lot of it would get covered up until you opened it, but I don't mind that there at all. And that's just laying on my desk. Right now I'm just trying to use things that are right here in front of me. 
Okay, we'll fill that space there. All right, I think I'm going to put this flower right there. It's got purple in it, like the stamp does. And I'm sorry if you can hear my kids in there fussing and fighting. Fixing enough to go beat them. Brooklyn is one of those little agitators. She likes to stir things up. And Presley gets very, very upset because she's a teenager. So it's just, they're at war. I just put that little 78 stamp right there, not for any particular reason. Then just it was laying here and I put it on there. So there's another one. All right, those are quick and easy to make and I love how they're going to look in our journals. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.